Peggy 18. You up for one last job, Billy? Who's the mark? The black-eyed bastard responsible for all the chaos. We're gonna kill the outsider. For those new to Dishonored, tell us in broad strokes, what is Dishonored? What's the Dishonored world? Yeah, so Dishonored takes place in an alt-reality, sort of 1850s, uh, like conceived like an empire based around whaling. And you play a supernatural assassin. Uh, you have magic powers and stealth and gadgets, and you can jump from rooftop to rooftop, and you're pursuing these like corrupt aristocratic targets along the way. The thing that makes it a little different is it's all first person. It's very immersive. Uh, we detail out every piece of the world and turn you loose in it. You're, you're not just following a trail of breadcrumbs, but you're very free to explore every nook and cranny. And we, we layer in history and detail into everything. So moving ahead to Death of the Outsider, uh, I want to point out right away that this isn't DLC. It's not an expansion. This is a true standalone uh, experience. Yeah. First of all, what does that mean? And then why was it important for you to make a standalone experience? Death of the Outsider is definitely a standalone adventure for Billy Lurk. You play Billy Lurk. We love it as um, something that if you're really into Dishonored, you play Dishonored 1, Dishonored 2, the other DLC, you can go get it and play it. And it really closes out the arc, this part of the Dishonored story related to the political assassination of Jessamine Caldwin. On the other hand, if you've never played a Dishonored game, you can actually go pick up Death of the Outsider and it can be your entry point into the series. You don't need to know anything from before. Uh, you can pick it up and play as Billy Lurk, uh, finding your old mentor, Dowd, and going on this almost impossible uh, mission to take down this uh, supernatural godlike figure. Death of the Outsider coming September 15th, PlayStation 4, PC, Xbox One.